In this quick guide, I'm going to show you how to convert your 3DS game files into CIA files directly on your 3DS. Previously, I've used programs on my computer to do this, but that created the issue of needing XORPAD files to complete the conversion, which stumped a lot of people. However, with the method in this video, we no longer have to worry about that. Now, if you do not have a .3DS version of your file, you can also convert your actual physical copy directly into a CIA file as well, and I'll also show you how to do that later in the video. So let's get started by taking your SD card out of your console and placing it into your computer. So as you can see here, I have a .3DS file. Now whether you got this from backing up your physical copy like I did or the other way, this method for converting it will work. So let's open up our SD card we used to mod our 3DS. And the first thing we're going to make sure is that we can see our file extensions. So click view, show and make sure there's a check under file name extensions. Now that's something I showed you how to do in my initial 3DS homebrew guide. However, if somebody used a different guide, I figured I would show you now. But as long as you can see those, let's place our 3DS file in the proper spot. Now technically you can place this anywhere you want, but for convenience and if anybody backs up their physical copy, it's gonna be going into GM9 and then into an out folder. So I'm gonna be creating that one here. Just call it out. And this is where we're going to place our 3DS file. So open it up and drag it inside. So there we go. It is transferred over. Well, once you have that set up, just hit eject. Take the SD card out of your computer and place it into your 3DS. And as I mentioned before, if you have a physical copy that you want to turn into a CIA file, place that inside as well. Now, when you boot your device, we're going to hold the start button. So hold start and press the power button, it should load into God Mode 9. If you see this page like I do, just press A on God Mode 9, and it should load into this page right here. So if you have a physical copy, use the D-pad on the top screen to go down to Game Cart, press A. This will take a couple seconds, so don't get worried, it did not freeze. And you should see these options right here. All you're gonna do is go down to the .trim.3ds file, that's basically just a trimmed down version of the game. Don't worry, nothing is different, it just saves you space. Press A on it, and on the bottom screen, you should have these options right here. In order to create a CIA file, go into NCSD image options, press A. Go down to build CIA from file, press A, and it will create the CIA file. Now, of course, the bigger the game, the longer this will take. Mario Kart is about 0.6 gigabytes, and it'll, it'll take about five minutes or so. I'll meet you when it's done. And there we go. It has successfully created the CIA file. Press A to continue. And now that we've done that with your physical copy, I'll show you how to convert your existing 3DS file. So press B and on this screen at the top, go all the way up to SD card, press A. And these are all your SD card folders. So if you remember, we're going to go into GM9 out and you should see your 3DS file. This is also where we converted our physical copy into a CIA file, which you can see right here. But if you haven't done the physical copy, just select the .3DS file here, press A, and you'll get the same options here. So just press A on NCSD image options and build CIA from file. So press A on that and it will build your CIA file from your existing 3DS file. And there we go, it's successful. As it says here, it will be in your GM9 slash out folder, exactly where we placed our .3ds file earlier. Press A to continue. We're back on this screen. We'll just press B, B, B. Once you're here, press the home button and just press A on power off your system. And now to access that CIA file, take your SD card out and let's go back onto the computer. So over on your computer, go into your SD card, Go into GM9, out, and you should see your CIA file. Now this one right here, the trim standard CIA, that comes from the physical cartridge itself. And converting the 3DS file into CIA will basically rename it the exact same. So if you're confused on why I have two, that's because I did it to a physical copy and the 3DS file. But there you go. Now you have a CIA file that you can install the Citra or onto your 3DS. So I hope this video helped you out because those programs on your computer are not needed in order to convert your 3ds files i would greatly appreciate it if you could like the video and i'll see you on the next one stay funky and happy modding <laughs>